take the head of the goose and remove it from its body. Goose! Eric and I went to bed approximately 4 a.m. So if you're doing, if you're doing, so, so if you're doing, if you're doing that math right, that's an hour of sleep. We're getting up this early to go get a time lapse of the sun rising over the Great Pyramid. Want to get this shot, and then we'll come back and get some more sleep. The sun waits for no man, especially in Egypt. That is where we are going. That is the Great Pyramid. Another pyramid here. The Sphinx should be over here somewhere. But we need to get on that side of the pyramid because the sun is gonna rise over here in the east. So we need to be over here if we wanna see the sun rise over the pyramid, which hopefully should be this next shot. time-lapse shots. We got the GoPro set up here. My phone taking another time-lapse there. We're actually in a restricted area. This is not part of the hotel and the pyramid like plaza area does not open until 8 a.m. It's currently 5 a.m. This guy over here working in this area told us that uh, this is not part of the hotel. It's actually part of a hospital that's being built right over here. We're technically not supposed to be here, but he said he'd give us uh, like five minutes. We've been here about 10 minutes, so we're kind of <laughs> just trying to get as much of this time lapse as we possibly can. This is quite an area we're into. The sign in particular is kind of worrisome. Okay, we're uh, now going to descend from our illegal perch here and uh, get some drone footage, hopefully. Which well, it's is like pretty sure illegal. Uh, it'll be like two sides to every picture, because if you look here, <laughs> it's one thing. Yeah. I don't, I don't really remember how we got up here. Oh, I do. Yeah? Gotcha. And, okay. <laughs> right. And then... You're beautiful. Everybody wants like a piece of one of the pyramids or the Great Wall, just like a little piece of rock. Pretty sure it's illegal to take, but it's a free. <laughs> but it's a free souvenir. So we got some epic drone shots. I'm sure we inserted some of those in this vlog. Didn't get exactly the uh, time lapse of the sunrise that we wanted because of the positioning. We couldn't like get where the sun was directly behind the pyramids. So what I think we're gonna do is wait until evening. We're gonna get sunset behind the pyramid, which is a lot easier shot to get because of the placement. All right, now we need to get a golf cart back to our room. This is a big property and uh, not all in one central location. Beautifully long hallways in here. You get the room, you can. So one of the tricks that we're performing here in Egypt, the one for the Around the World video, actually requires a live goose. So obviously that's kind of hard to track down when you're traveling abroad. So Dennis Rohde hooked me up with their fixer here in Cairo, who kind of like helped them out when they were on their trip doing their Around the World video. Uh, so she is coming to meet us now and she has a live goose that she has acquired. So we're gonna attempt to pull off this magic trick with this goose. You'll see it in the Around the World video. Got a like two or three hour nap in just now. So feeling a little bit better after that. And that view really just wakes Yep. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. How, how are you? How are you? Good. I'm glad you waited here. <laughs> she got the goose.
Got my co-star here. I feel like he needs a name. I know. Maybe name him after a pharaoh? I was going to say Ramses. Ramses. All right. Ascending these steps so we can get a good view of the pyramids up here. Ooh, you know the spots. <laughs> really? He said, matches your real goose. Do that again. Then you just want to make sure that your fake goose head matches your real goose. So you've done a great job. I can, can do one. More, okay? Really, you can just do one a performance without. Great, great man. My, right, yeah, it, it was very good. You know your cues, buddy. So you just take the head of the goose and remove it from the body. Just gonna take the head of the goose and remove it from its body. We are all done. You did Had a, a wrap on goose. You vlogging? Yeah. So. Our uh, Egyptian co-star here did a great job. Um, this was this was pretty difficult to put together. This is probably the most crazy trick I've ever done abroad. Actually, like acquiring a live animal. Uh, can you be on camera? Do you mind? No. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to be on? No. Okay. <laughs> so uh, our our connection here in Cairo hooked this up for us. Uh, I guess I can shout out Dennis and Roman for giving us the connection. Uh, so shout out to Dennis Rohde and Roman uh, for giving us the connection uh, to get our goose. Did such a great job, really just, I don't know how we would have found this guy without without you. <laughs> so thank you. So friendly too. You haven't tried to bite me in the face yet or anything? Give it time though. Yeah, right, right. Two more takes and we'll be uh, <laughs> turning. <laughs> that is great. at this place called Fel Fela, which interestingly I researched like where the best falafel spot was in Egypt. Came up with this place, asked our fixer uh, to find us a good falafel and she brought us to the exact same place that I had written down. So I feel like that's a good sign. With one finger like this. Cairo, Egypt. One more. <clears throat> Next stop, Cairo, Egypt. Cut. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. What is it, seven? Seven Egyptian magic tricks. 
I am your host, Evan Era. Today we are here in Cairo, Egypt, and I'm showing you seven Egyptian magic tricks. So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button and let's go. Uh, but it worked. We're getting All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Um, Thank you. Uh, so. Secret of Dee Dee's Magic Goose Trick. Check it out. Good. Cut. Resurrecting Deck of Cards. Here in front of the Great Pyramids of Cairo, Egypt. Pyramids of Giza, Cairo, Egypt. Pyramids of Giza in Cairo, Egypt. 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 It's really old. It was an inventor. It was a what? behind the magic sphinx illusion. It's right behind me, isn't it? Uh, ba -ba -ba. And then I already did the subscribe and outro over there, remember? Playing like literally flat in front of me. Huh, and people drop money down here for good luck, yeah. I guess? Yeah, good luck, yeah. So all of this was geared to just like modify the king's body and uh, modification process took from 70 days to 90 days. And there were yeah. statues of the king here where the groups are. Like where there were many clay three statues. And this whole place was all covered. Up this passage, they took his body after it's been modified. All the way up to that passage, slip is up. The other temple over there, where they have a ritual called opening of the mouth. And then, boom, into the pyramid. So is at the east side of the pyramid. Okay. And either the modification temple and both will be joined together with this, what we call a causeway. Causeway should be covered. Got all of our shots here at the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx. the first cat we've seen. Crossing the street in Cairo, not like crossing the street in the United States. <laughs> I love that the bus stops are this shape. Everything's so Egyptian. Up. I got too many cards. I got the whole deck in my pocket, except for your card over here. <laughs> now, now, I will do this. You are very fast, my friend, okay? You are very fast, okay? <laughs> okay, for this, okay, I give you some gift for you.
I'm telling you right now I'm checking the, the, the weather night now at this area now they say temperature is 23 and it doesn't say it's raining <laughs> magic yeah this is all a big surprise all right, we made it back to the hotel room. Absolutely crushed this day here in Egypt. Huge shout out to our fixer here in Egypt who set us up with everything we needed. Took us around the city, gave us some really cool background and history on everything. We are running on literally like an hour or two of sleep. Been up for probably 48 hours now, I'd say. I don't really know because I'm so jet lagged and like the time differences are so crazy, but it started pouring rain when we were on our way back from filming. And uh, yeah, it's only rained like four times in the entire year. And right before it started raining, I said, how often does it rain here? And it just instantly started raining. So anyway, from here in Cairo, rainy Cairo, very rare, in front of Great Pyramid, you can kind of see the outline of it there. It's kind of hazy until next time remember that anything is possible you can even come to egypt see the great pyramids the sphinx now we're off to dubai and then china so i'll see you tomorrow for another vlog until next time remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive work hard and man did we work hard today laugh at life not wearing a laugh at life not wearing a laugh at life shirt and laugh at life so right after we ended the vlog, we headed to Cairo airport from the hotel. We had about four hours to get there, but little did we know the streets of Cairo were completely flooded. Our fixer had told us earlier in the day that it hadn't rained in months. So I guess when it started to downpour, the water had nowhere else to go. The streets completely flooded, stopped us from getting to the airport. We missed the cutoff for our flight by literally two minutes. So that meant we had no other choice but to spend another day in Egypt. See the exciting conclusion of this story in our next episode.